Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're checking out one of my friend's games. His name is Surfer. He's a very, very talented 3D modeler and uh, his game is failing, at least in his standards. Right here we have Pet Gods Simulator and it's got 61,000 visits and 189 active players. Now 189 active players is not failing to me. I think you are on the verge of success so once one big youtuber bigger than myself of course makes a video on this game as long as the game plays good we're about to figure that out uh, I think you'll be all right so anyways we're gonna hop in and see what we think he did wrong what he did right and what we think he could do better so first things first we do have a good little tutorial here start by earning 50 coins so we're gonna go over here we're gonna click I'm guessing we got yep our pets will go so it looks like it is a pet simulator X type game but we do have some other features auto send and fast auto send is quite nice so we're gonna do auto send all right there we go that's pretty cool and i'm guessing fast auto send is a game pass it is and i do like to support my boy so i'm gonna buy this game pass as well support him and his team there we go um okay can i there we go nice and then we have our inventory right here and of course all we have at the moment is the dog we got our shop over here which looks pretty good i will say um since the game so far at least is a lot like pet simulator you sort of have to compete with pet simulator and yes i do think the map looks better in a way like it fits my style better but ui pet sim definitely got you beat bro pet sim ui is incredible now let's walk up to this egg see what we got going on here um okay i was about to say that there's no animation there we go now, now there's like the pop-up let's go ahead and open up one egg you can upgrade your pets and yourself with these machines all right i will say with the game fully revolves around pet this egg open animation is a lot less than exciting so i open an egg it takes up such a tiny percent of my screen so i'd say double the size of that make it take up a good bit of the screen and you need to add something like uh some confetti or like make this this thing around the egg change colors depending what rarity of pet you're gonna get just something that makes that a little bit more exciting to, for people to open for example i'm pretty sure i just hatched the best pet in the egg the angel and i didn't even notice because there was nothing exciting about actually hatching it so yeah i i would say that's definitely something you got to look into and that's just the first thing i noticed but if you have a game that's fully about pets you definitely need to um you know make getting the pets a very satisfying thing let's go ahead and get this it is a limited pet so let's see how much it is oh wait that's a little that's a little too much for me i was i was gonna do it maybe on the gaming video because i'll make a gaming video on here too just to support my friends guys okay another thing i've noticed is a lot of the younger audience likes the linear simulator map layout meaning you have one zone the next zone the next zone the next zone unless you jump to other islands right here if i'm looking in our lobby i don't see where my progression is so i can't just look down this huge path of zones and be like oh my gosh i want to get there all i see is these portals which is cool but it is less exciting than being able to see the next zone so i don't know if you would make it one of those jumper games or make it linear or keep it like this but in my experience if you can see the next zones it usually gives them like the drive to want to play a little bit more let's check out upgrades we have pet speed player speed gem multiplier and pet inventory i'm gonna grab player speed first just to just to walk a little bit a little bit faster all right we've got an index over here we got some stats right there and our teleport right here and of course our shop here now let's see we need 3,000 coins to open up the ice kingdom so i guess we kind of i guess we should grind out for 3,000 coins honestly yeah i'd say that the coin pop-up is a little less than satisfying as well um you don't feel rewarded when you get coins and i don't know exactly how i would change it up maybe bring the number of coins up with this like flash of coins that pops up on your screen put the number in the middle of them the main thing with the simulator type games on roblox these days is satisfaction instant gratification for anything you do so the more particles or beams or pop-ups you can have the better at least that's what i've found in my game development journey and if you look at games like pet sim they kill this another very important thing which you do have is sound effect but i don't know if you have the right sound effect which is a whole nother battle in itself getting the right sound effects is actually a tragic thing 
<laughs> but the game is good. I think the game has a lot of potential. The thing that's wrong with it is just the lack of satisfaction when you go to open an egg or when you're actually playing the game. For example, yes, the auto send is awesome. I don't have to do anything, but it makes me forget that I'm really playing. Like I don't notice a, a great gain of coins or gems like this. The pop up is just a little less than satisfaction. So I think that's the biggest thing, man. The map looks insane. It looks great. The UI looks good enough to be a popular game. But if the game is fully focused around pets, well, there's not there's not too much there. The pets themselves look great, by the way. I, I should say that. Ooh, the trophy egg. How much is this? 1K? Should I buy the portal first? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the portal first. And then I'll go back and buy the trophy egg. And hope it's even good. I guess if it's less of than the new zone, probably not as good. Another thing, man. Only one egg per zone is also a bit lackluster, considering the game is fully about pets. So I would consider... I know it is a a lot of work to make pets man like trust me i'm there i got you but i would consider adding at least one more egg to these that doesn't cost robux because it just yeah i, I think i think it just goes to show that like satisfaction thing like oh i'm done with this one but i can't quite afford the next zone let me get a little better before i get to the next zone i think something like that would be great for the game so overall up the satisfaction the models are incredible so that doesn't have to change i'd say mainly the hatching thing sound effects and the coin pop-ups so your brain just gets slapped Lapped up with dopamine every time you complete something in the game. Let's go buy one of those uh, things over there. Oh, teleports 99 Robux. It kind of clickbaited me. Oh, man. All right, here we go, guys. Limited time. 50k visits egg. Yes. Give me something awesome. Small trophy. It's a ri Oh, it's actually the worst. The worst one that I could have possibly gotten. But you know what? Is it good? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's go. We got the shiny machine over there and the player upgrades over there. Uh, Oh, let's buy one more of those and then we'll go into the new zone. Farm up a little bit of money and see what we can do. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yeah, I'll rare once again, but still it's better than what I had. All right, let's check out the shiny machine real quick. How many do we need? One, two, three, 30%. Okay, I guess you cannot do it to equipped pets, which does make sense. Let's unequip all. See if this is enough to go ahead and get a shiny one, and we'll see how much that is. Uh, 71. Jeez. Okay, let me go get a couple more, because that seems to be all I can get anyway. So let's grab this. Small trophy rare. I get it, bro. I get it. You're only going to give me the rares. It makes sense. All right, uh, we'll get one more. And we should be good to go for the shiny machine. I want a 100% chance. There we go. Let's craft that up. Oh, it takes a shiny success. Yeah, even that was just a little less than satisfying. And this isn't me hating on the game or anything like that. Just me thinking what I can uh, what I can tell you to make it a little bit better. All right, let's grab another gem upgrade. Uh, let's do pets, because why not? And then let's do gem multiplier. Perfect. So yeah, dude, overall, I think the game's pretty good. The balance seems, um, I can't really tell yet, but I'd say decent. Like, this is 150,000 coins and then it goes to 2 million then 10 million like i don't know like even um is there a way to like attack faster like we have the fast auto send but it's not i guess it's kind of fast i don't even know where my other pets are there we go <laughs> my other pets are back yeah dude i think this game's gonna be pretty good man i'd say try to make it a little more satisfying in all of the areas that i've talked about in the video and hopefully this helped you out man i also gotta say i wish you the best of luck on your development journey but guys that is gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later